All right, we have the, uh, I'm checking the, the mass airflow sensor, the signal, and uh, I'm using the ground on the, for the mass airflow sensor as a ground instead of just like a ground on a battery because it gives you a cleaner signal. If you use a battery ground, it's not gonna give you as clean of a signal. This is what it looks like. Each division right here is two volts, so we're sitting right under two volts. And uh, we got right now VP voltage peak 1.280, and uh, let me see, minimax 720 millivolts, that's 0 0.720 volts. Uh, max uh, 1.92 volts. So uh, we're sitting at idle, that's what we're, we're, we're seeing. Uh, we're going to do some uh, increase in, in throttle slowly. So you see it uh, it increases the voltage to about 2.5 at about uh, sound about 2500 rpms so uh, let's see right there now we're gonna do some quick uh, quick burst and let's see what we get and that's what we're getting on the signal We're hitting all the way four, about four volts. That's the signal we're getting off of this mass airflow sensor. We hit about four volts right there. Um, it's going to be the same thing using something like this, but you're just going to you're you're just going to see this right here. You're just going to see the volt. 4 volts max, 560, that's that's 0.56 volts. It'll say 0.56 on that multimeter. Uh, the voltage peak, we got 3.0. And it's just resetting itself. So the voltage peak, you're going to see about like uh, 4 volts. If you're using this right here, if you're using this right here, you want to have the negative hooked up to the, uh, the ground for the mass airflow sensor. And then you want to have the positive hooked up to the, the signal and if you, if you want to identify the signals all you have to do is uh, watch my video and I show you how to identify the signal on the ground and everything for the mass airflow sensor but uh so that's what it's supposed to be working like uh, we're sitting at um, 0.48 millivolts and uh, actually I can show you uh, it's just gonna say 0.48 on this but uh, right there, that's just a steady line of 0 0.48. 0 0.48, max, 1.9, max is the MA. M MI is minimum 480 millivolts. 480 millivolts is the same as 0 0.48. Uh, 560 millivolts is the same as 0.56. And uh, let's give it a couple more quick throttles. So we're hitting about five, four volt max. We're hitting four volt max on this mass airflow sensor. So uh, that's a working mass airflow sensor in its uh, entirety. We checked the wiring, we checked everything. So uh, you know, hope you guys learned something from that. Let's see. Let's go here. Let's zoom into this. Turn this over. That's the voltage spike right there. That's what happens when you increase the, you get a big gulp of air. That's what the computer is seeing. That's how it knows how to add 
and that's how it knows also to set code when your when your throttle position angle doesn't match the mass airflow it's going to set a code <clears throat> so that's how you check it um we're using a scope today but you're going to see these numbers right here minimum voltage maximum voltage about four volts right there and uh voltage peak 3.36 so uh that's what you would see on if you're using this thing right here you know this thing right here is not a, a, a scope but you're gonna see the the minimum voltage and then you might see a flash of four you might and if you have a better uh multimeter you, you can set it to min max and then you're going to be able to the, the capture the, the minimum voltage maximum voltage so you you take some deep gulps hooked up to the mass airflow sensor and you want to take some deep gulps and you want to make sure it's going to hit at least up uh, four volts because that that's about the maximum airflow you're going to get pretty much about the four volts so thanks for watching comment rate and subscribe